All right, we're coming off a four game winning streak, but we're playing against the absolutely red hot Baltimore Ravens. Look, I would love for us to win this game, I really would. But, you know, as long as it's competitive, and if we lose, but it's competitive, I'll be happy. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm really hoping we win. But let's see what happens. The Battle of the Beltway is underway. And the first drive, they, uh, Zay Flowers goes for 40. Yeah, see, see, this is what happens when our defense plays a good offense. Wait, the ball's tipped? Mike Sanders still with the interception? Our first pick of the year for the rookie. Let's go, baby. I'm sorry for saying something bad about you, defense. I take it back. I take it back. And Austin Siebert sinks it for a field goal. All right, we're up 3-0. We got a little bit of a lead. Let's keep the momentum going. But you know, coming into this week, we were very worried about Derrick Henry and Lamar. But what about freaking Zay Flowers? Oh, they fumbled the snap. Bobby, just look down at your feet. He could have gotten the fumble. And Justin Tucker sinks it 3-4 field goal. Tied 3-3. How is Jaden getting out of that sack? And he's going. He's going. First down. We got the punt. You know, it's nice to know Trust Waste. You know, he still gets to come onto the field every now and then. But it's a 93-yard drive that we're forcing them to go on. There's no way our defense is going to give up a touchdown like that. But we will if you're going to leave Sean Bateman right in the middle of the field wide open. Did we, like, just not acknowledge they have receivers in the middle of the field? And Derrick Henry runs it in for a touchdown. Okay, I'm officially scared about our defense again. I mean, it's Derrick Henry. It's hard to stop him if you're any, any team. But, woof. And what a good pass to Noah Brown. That should have been roughing the passer on Jaden. The rest are definitely leaning Baltimore's way. Flea flicker screen to Eckler? Glitch just pulled out a deep cut out of his bag, and I love it. Run to McNichols, throws it back to Jaden, fumbled the throw, by the way, just a little bit. And then screen to Eckler instead of the deep throw. That was beautiful. And a touchdown to Terry McLaurin. Let's go, baby. All right, let's see if our defense can stop Lamar on this drive. Nope, absolutely not. Nope. But are the refs just going to keep ignoring Ronnie Stanley jumping off the snap like a whole second before the play actually begins? Like, I know they'll give a little bit of leeway, but like, homie is taking a whole leapfrog back before they snap the ball. Mark Andrews caught a touchdown? Oh, we're cooked. Like, it might be a good team, but we're cooked today. But a beautiful drive from our offense to get down in the field goal range. Siebert missed it. He's capable of missing it? I'm th it looked like it was blocked. It looked like it was blocked. All right, but third quarter, we get the ball. Let's tie it up. But Austin Sieber makes up for the missed field goal with a deep field goal. I love it. Look, it's 17-13. We're still in it. Let's go. But we know this defense needs to make a stop. And Lamar breaks out that run. Defense cannot make a stop. Got it. Cool. Understood. And we sack Lamar. boy for Dante Fowler getting in on the sack. Look, we've, we've pressured Lamar pretty good. He's gotten some runs against us, but we've also kind of... Held him pretty good at some moments. And Justin Tucker knocks it through for another field goal. It's 20 to 13. Hey, one touchdown down. Let's go. A rare bad throw from Jaden to Noah Brown on that one, but it's fine. We force him to another 90, 95 yard, you know, drive. You know, there's no way our defense is going to give that up for another touchdown, right? But that pass interference was not pass interference. The brother fell on the ground. I tell you, the rest are swinging a little bit Baltimore's way. Like, we're not playing a clean, perfect game. I'm not saying we are. But the rest are doing us no favors. Also, Benjamin St. Juice is being absolutely toasted today. Like, I mean, good lord. Can we not make a call to a cornerback? There's plenty of them still available. Can we not at least call one? And Derrick Henry punches it in for another touchdown. Cool. I will say Zach Ertz has made some really good plays in today's game. Jaden throws deep. Zach Ertz again? Okay. Oh, nice throw, Terry. He got absolutely popped. That's an old clean football hit. Terry McLaurin again, baby. Let's go. You can't stop that man. You can't stop Terry McLaurin, baby. Look at that beautiful throw, beautiful spot, beautiful catch. If we lose today, it is not because of our offense. No, no, no. Don't get that twisted. We came into today, you know, being like, you know, we got to stop the rushing attack. But how about the passing attack? I mean, the skies are clear for Lamar throwing against our defense. And Justin Tucker sinks another field goal. Makes it two score. And Austin Sieber sinks another field goal. Might be in this. We're not in this. At all. I mean, at all. Derrick Henry just mows us down right there. Well, we lose. 30-23. to 23. But you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I can feel good about loss because why? The Ravens are playing arguably the best football of anyone in the league. And we went toe-to-toe -to -toe with them for four quarters. Like, sure, we had to play from behind a good bit, but we stayed in the game. We were never out of the game until the very end, and that's all I want from this team is just to not get absolutely slaughtered. And, you know, that means we can compete with the best of them. We are clearly the best team in our division. I mean, look at the rest of our division. Wow. 
We were without me Rob today, and you could tell that hurt, and you know, it's fine. We're going to be back next week. We've got Carolina, which, barnstorm them. Anyway, look at our slate of games coming up. This was a game we could afford to lose. Not that I wanted to lose it, but we could afford to. Our defense, I don't know where to begin. Linebackers are good. Thank goodness for Bobby Wagner. Thank goodness for Bobby Wagner, because if he didn't make the tackles he made, oh my gosh, it could have been so much worse. On to Carolina, Jaden Still, arguably the, playing the best football of any QB in the league outside of Lamar. Anyway, ah, it's good. It's good to have a loss where you still feel good. You still feel good about the season. We're four and two. Let's make it five and two next week, baby. Let's get it. Let's go. Hail to the Commanders. Raise hail. Let's go. I don't wanna